but we start the show with the most important car to be launched this year. Nearly one million people in the UK have bought a 3 Series. At one time, it was even outselling the Ford Mondeo, and it accounts for half of BMW's sales worldwide. So, there's a lot riding on the new one being as good. Every journalist in the world has said it's great, but I'm not prepared to believe them. A car as important as this needs to prove itself over a stringent test, so we're going on a mission. Compressing one month's motoring into just 48 hours. A thousand miles across all types of roads from launch headquarters here in Madrid, through France and on to catch a 10 o'clock ferry bound for Blighty. If I'm impressed by the 3 Series after all of that, it must be good. Now, my weapon of choice. Well, most of you will go for the 2 litre, which is available in petrol or diesel. I'm mostly going to choose the fastest one, which is the diesel. The trip's been reset. I've got a full tank of diesel, which according to this means I won't have to stop for another 459 miles, which is nice. Time to rip up the Spanish countryside. This 320D SE costs £24,000, but by the time you add in leather, metallic paint, a sporty steering wheel and 16-inch alloys, you're talking over £27,000. That's two grand more than the opposition. However, with a 0-62 time of 8.3 seconds, it's also quicker. Well, we're making fairly good progress. We've clocked up 266 miles so far. It's actually very nice being in this new 3 Series. It's, uh, you know, this isn't a highly specced model. It hasn't got super trick seats in there. It hasn't got the electric pack. It hasn't got lumbar support. And yet, I'm comfortable. The, I haven't got backache. I've been on the go for, getting on for five hours now. And I tell you what's remarkable, it's just, it's very quiet in here. It's not, there's, uh, there's not much wind noise. So aerodynamically, the car's quite good. There's not much road tyre noise. But I think it's actually quieter in here than the 5 Series. Pretty impressive. Our 2-litre diesel is actually torquier than a 3-litre petrol option. So overtaking is a cinch. We cross the French border after 300 miles and 6 hours. And that's still on the same tank of fuel. It wasn't long before we hit the toll road payages. In some areas, it's around £4 for 50 miles. But the roads are quiet and smooth, and the French have superb motorway discipline. No tailgating, no full beam, no lane hogs, just simple respect for faster driving. Right. First traffic jam of the day, uh, we're two, about... 15 miles away from Bordeaux uh, and it's 10 to 9 so you know we've had a good run um, although I'm just wondering if this is because everyone's going into town for Saturday night out and uh, they're going on the boozer which is where we should be I think so I'm going to uh, sign off day two and the first job was to refill the tank we've done uh, Madrid Bordeaux uh, 500 miles. We've nearly done it on the well. In fact, we have done it on a tank of juice. Um, we averaged about 36 miles per gallon, and I won't tell you what our average speed is because that might incriminate me. Despite another full day in the saddle, I was still liking the three series, and the next stop was Le Mans. The famous 24-hour racetrack is largely made up of public roads, including the famous Mulsanne Strait. A race car would bomb down here at over 240 miles an hour, and I'd love to have stayed for a mooch around, but with a ferry to catch, we've got to get after it. There wasn't much room for manoeuvre with our itinerary. We thought we could do it on two tanks of diesel, but some spirited driving had increased consumption and forced an unexpected pit stop. Then there was further delay getting through the final payage. We're, um, <laughs> we're a bit up against it. We've got to be there at 10 o'clock. And uh, it's 9.36 at the minute. And we're about... Six, about 50 miles away, 45 miles away. So, mental arithmetic, that means we've got to average about 90 mile an hour to get there. Uh, I don't condole breaking the speed limit at all. But I think this stretch of road between 
where we are now and where we're going to go to uh, is uh, is unlimited if you drive an English registered car. I think. I think. I'll just ask this man. Is this unlimited down here, mate? It is. Thank you. Great. Thanks for that. There you go. Only joking, but we did find a shortcut and made it. Just. I tell you how you know what a good car is. A good car is a car you can do a thousand miles in two days. This is pretty hardcore driving. Um, we've not been hanging around. We've done all sorts. We've been in country lanes, on motorways, on fast day roads. We've done, uh, we've done all sorts. And I'm not overly tired. Um, my back's not sore. My bum's in good order. You know, this isn't a £50,000 executive car. This is a... Uh, an entry-level executive car. I think that's pretty cool. I would have preferred a bit more economy and think it's a shame it's more expensive than its rivals. But overall, I was mightily impressed. Stick around for details about how you can win a brand new one of your very own.